the greatness and might of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He is the warrior in the Bible, more powerful than all the archangels combined. Let this truth resound in our hearts and ignite a fire of hope and strength within us. In the book of Revelation, we witness a glorious scene. As John beholds the heavens open, and there stands Jesus Christ, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David. The title Lion of Judah evokes an image of power, majesty, and authority. He is not a passive bystander. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, leading us into victory. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last, the Eternal One who has no beginning and no end. He is the Great. I am the self-existent and all-sufficient One who stands before time and creation itself. He is the Ancient of Days, whose wisdom and authority transcend the ages. He is the Word made flesh dwelling among us, full of grace and truth. He is the Light of the World, shining in the darkness, dispelling fear and bringing hope to the lost. He is the Good Shepherd, guiding his flock with tender care and protecting us from harm. He is the Bread of Life, satisfying the hunger of our souls with his nourishing truth. He is the Living Water, quenching the thirst of our hearts with his everlasting love. He is the Resurrection and the Life, conquering death and offering eternal life to all those who believe in him. He is the way, the truth, and the life, the only path to the faither. He is the door, the entrance to salvation, through which we find abundant life and access to the Father's presence. He is the great physician, healing the brokenhearted and binding up our wounds. He is the comforter, consoling us in times of sorrow and filling us with peace that surpasses all understanding. He is the Redeemer, who paid the price for our sins with His precious blood. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the Justifier, declaring us righteous through faith in Him. He is the Prince of Peace, bringing reconciliation between God and humanity. He is the Advocate interceding on our behalf before the Father. He is the Mediator bridging the gap between Holy God and fallen man. He is the conqueror, trampling over the powers of darkness and disarming principalities and powers. He is the victor, rising triumphantly from the grave and securing our victory over sin and death. He is the cornerstone, the solid foundation upon which our faith is built. He is the rock of ages, our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. He is the Wonderful Counselor, the source of wisdom and guidance in every aspect of life. He is the Prince of Joy, infusing our hearts with unspeakable joy that transcends circumstances. He is the King of Glory, enthroned in majesty and reigning over all creation. He is the Lord of Hosts, commanding angelic armies and watching over His children with fierce protection. He is my King, my Redeemer, my Messiah, my Lord, my God, and besides Him there is no other, Jesus Christ. When we talk about mighty archangels, they are undoubtedly formidable beings, but none can compare to the all-encompassing power of our Lord Michael. The chief angel is known for his warfare in the heavenly realms, yet Jesus our Saviour is greater. He defeated sin, death, and the powers of darkness through his sacrificial death and triumphant resurrection. Let this truth encourage us today, my friends, that we serve a Savior who conquered the greatest enemy of all death. He gave his life and allowed death to close its gates behind him. Jesus Christ died the deaths of all deaths. He didn't faint, he died. And for three days he was fully dead, and not unconscious or in a coma. No, Jesus Christ died, and he rose from the grave, proclaiming victory over sin and hell. As followers of Jesus, we are partakers of this triumph. No force on earth or in the spiritual realm can stand against the might of our Savior. 
Revelation 19 verse 11, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Some want to keep Jesus Christ as a prophecy. Some want to keep Jesus Christ as a baby in the arms of the Virgin Mary. Some want to keep Jesus Christ as a young man, growing in wisdom and stature. Some want to keep Jesus Christ as a prophet performing miracles. Some want to keep Jesus Christ on the cross. Some want to keep Jesus Christ in the grave. Some want to keep Jesus Christ as a gentle and meek figure. And some want to keep Jesus Christ within the confines of their own understanding. But let me tell you, Jesus Christ is more than a prophecy. He is the fulfillment of all prophecies, the embodiment of God's promises and plans for redemption. He is more than a baby in a manger. He is the eternal Son of God who stepped down from glory to dwell among us. He is more than a young man growing in wisdom. He is the wisdom of God personified, in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. He is more than a prophet performing miracles. He is the miracle worker, the healer, and the deliverer who displays his power to transform lives even today. He is more than a figure on the cross. He is the Lamb of God who willingly gave his life as a ransom for many, securing our salvation. He is more than a body in a grave. He is the risen Lord, victorious over sin and death, offering eternal life to all who believe in him. Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the mighty warrior who has conquered the forces of darkness and secured our eternal victory. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who holds all things in his hands. He is the greatest warrior that has ever walked this earth, and his power knows no bounds. As we gather here, let us lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving, for we have a Saviour who is mighty and strong, always fighting for us in the battles of life. He is our shield and fortress. When the storms rage and the enemy surrounds us, we need not fear, for He is with us. His presence is a constant assurance that we are never alone. The world may throw its challenges our way, but He is the one who goes before us, making a way where there seems to be no way we can march forward with unwavering confidence, knowing that our King is leading the charge. He is the greatest warrior, not just in the battles we face externally, but also in the battles within our hearts. When doubt and fear try to paralyze us, He empowers us with faith and courage. When guilt and shame weigh us down, He lifts us up with His unfailing love and forgiveness. He fights for our peace and joy, even in the midst of adversity, and turns our mourning into dancing. As Christians, we do not have to fear, for He is with us. We can face the uncertainties of life with boldness, knowing that the One who holds the stars in His hands is guiding our steps. When the world may seem chaotic and unpredictable, we can rest in the knowledge that He is in control. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And nothing escapes His sight when the archangels bow before Him in reverence. We too have the privilege to come before His throne with confidence. He invites us to cast all our cares upon Him, for He cares for us deeply. His love for us is immeasurable, and His grace is more than sufficient to carry us through every trial and tribulation. So, my friends, let us lift up our eyes to the heavens and fix our gaze upon our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He is the warrior in the Bible, more powerful than all the archangels. He is the one who conquered sin and death, and by His resurrection He has given us victory over every challenge we may face in the face of fear, uncertainty, or spiritual battles. Let us stand firm in the assurance that Jesus, the warrior, fights for us. His strength is made perfect in our weakness as we surrender our lives to Him. His power and grace flow through us, 
enabling us to conquer every obstacle. As we go forth from this place, let us be encouraged and uplifted by the truth that we serve a Saviour who is greater than all angels, who has conquered sin and death, and who leads us in triumph. Let us live boldly, shining His light in the darkness and sharing the good news of His love and salvation. May the name of Jesus be exalted in our hearts and lives, and may we walk in the confidence of His victory. He is our warrior, our champion, and our king. With Him by our side, we can face anything that comes our way.